I was speaking of the devil, Tokido on the left, Umehara Daigo on the right, and then other side of losers bracket will be Haitani against Knuckle Dude. I think Daigo right now is basically saying, uh, playing a can you get back into Mad Cat's matches right here. He's defeated Mago, so <laughs> Mago staying out. Let's see if Tokido can work his way back in. He's got to do it by defeating Daigo. Let's see their differences in the style. Yeah, it's interesting because the last time they played each other, Tokido did defeat Daigo. Round and in fact, one. Tokido has had the upper hand Fight. against Daigo in this mirror match uh, the last few times they have played each other. So Daigo in the white, that's Tokido in the blue. It tends to be, I feel, that Tokido is a little bit more of a bully, more of a brawler. Uh, as Ryu, that is to say, more comfortable playing close up. But sometimes Daigo does that too. You know, they both have the ability to do all the different styles. Just what do they want to concentrate on? I feel so far like Daigo was happy to play this ranged game. It's just really interesting. You see the difference in the button choices. Daigo likes that standing medium kick, and Tokido loves the standing roundhouse. He's willing to throw the standing roundhouse a lot to fish for those crush counters. But right there, Tokido going with that standing medium kick. Okay, he gets to cancel it. Daigo, see if he can get anything out of this. Oh, wow, okay, spending it on that. Just maybe trying to melt off some V trigger time. Wow, that standing mini kick just stuffing the fireball. Wake up standing jab from Tokido. And that's going to take round one for Tokido. There was a lot of bulldogging from Tokido in that round. And he took up a lot of good spaces with things like medium kicks. And he reacted to both forward dashes that Daigo had. Down strong was one. The second one closed out the round right there. So Daigo's going to have to change things up a little bit. Either try, try to fight from farther or try his own bulldogging. Try his own offense. See, there you go. You see Tokido going with that stand heavy kick. Something that he fishes with that I don't see Daigo fish with a lot. Daigo plays definitely more fundamentals, more fireballs. Yeah, you can really see the difference in the style, I think. See how few fireballs Tokido throws? When he throws them, it's really just to nullify and then maybe reset the situation, just like that. Right. Like I said, Tokido not scared to throw out that sweep because I think he knows the worst you're going to get is a punish counter sweep, which you can quick rise off of. It's not like it's ever going to be a crush counter. And if he lands a crush counter on his sweep that he's fishing for, he gives him a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, just escaped? Oh, if well, he, it's clever. Yeah, but if he hadn't done that, if he had come down with a cross, he might have been able to punish that with Crouch Roundhouse. Yeah, hard to see in advance. Well, here's that oh. chance for himself. Saves the bar. That die goes so good. He understands that he always wants to spend the meter only when it kills. And he said that that's one of the, that's one of the strategies he said. He will save the fireball for chip kill, for combo kills, because you can always build a full bar as Ryu in okay. the course of one round. Okay, well now it's on Tokido to play a more active offensive role, and that is what he's doing. So the super's gone. For but Daigo. Tokido has it! What a jump. That is just crazy. He had to jump forward like that from that range. I don't know if that happened the entire game. It was only at the very end after having convinced Daigo that he's not going to do it. There had been so much walking forward, so much reacting, or, you know, reacting to Daigo rather than playing preemptively. Right. And that's, in part, why that preemptive stuff works. But it was just like that Mago situation, Round right? That one. one decision to make. Do you do the Fight. EX or block it? What do you do? Same thing, when you jump over a fireball, it came down to that one decision that Tokido made. Made it over the fireball, was able to confirm into the super, get all that damage, and take that first game. Yeah, again, you can see that Daigo definitely plays a much more defensive style Ryu and right. Tokido always trying to dash in there and walking forward. Very clear difference. Yeah, Daigo walks backwards more than he walks forward. Tokido definitely moves forward more than he goes back. Oh, wow. nice catch! Daigo just going to And Daigo, rather than pressuring, he just continues to throw the fireball game. That's clearly where he's comfortable. That said, it just seems like, not in, in this game alone, but when they've played before, it seems like Tokido's style is the more successful in the mirror. Maybe it's just the way Tokido's playing it. There we go. That was maybe the first time I've seen Daigo manage to get that forward dash without Tokido countering with that crouching strong. Oh, again, there it is. So Daigo seems like he's changed his timing on that uh, forward dash a little bit, maybe. Catching Tokido off guard. Oh, nice. That was real good. And the fireballs did pay off. So Tokido got a little bit hurried at the end there. No chip kill in that situation, but he wanted to move forward. Some fireballs to start things off for Tokido, but then that's just not the MO, right? Yeah, right back into this looking for a way to get it. Neutral jumping, trying to get through. When I say bulldogging, what I mean is that he's walking forward and blocking, walking forward and blocking. 
Oh wow, gets the cross up short, but no confirm off of it, interesting. But he does have good position, and this is really important for Daigo, because like I said, he spends a lot of time moving backwards, so the more stage that he has to move backwards, the more he gets to continue playing his game. Absolutely. Okay, stabs in with the sweep. Can he get anything good? No, the, well, okay, a knockdown. I like how Daigo took control immediately, but right back in there. Tokido, he, he couldn't, I mean, could yeah, he could have beat him, certainly. Yeah. If it's a block, you can drag a bunch. But it's just, you're scared in those situations. Like, oh! Yeah. Okay, Daigo now with maybe some forward movement. No Dragon Punch himself. Wow. And that means Tokido's in. And Tokido has super! He didn't, he didn't go to Light Kick after that standing roundhouse. Right. The down jab, I love it, to take control from Daigo. Rather than just blocking. Tokido wants something! Oh, He's not gonna get it. Couldn't quite get it. Just kept reaching, kept reaching, and then Daigo slapped away the hand. And he's gonna take that second game. It's tied one to one here. And again, it's just, it's the contrasting in styles. It's so interesting to watch the way these two approach the footsies. It yeah. really is. It's it's so great to watch. Yeah, I love how they play that, 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 right. that, this neutral game. Right, yeah, I mean, it's really a testament to how differently you, you can play the same character in Street Fighter and in any fighting game. You, your personality can really shine through. Tokido wanting to move forward, Daigo wanting to play a distance game, same tools, different uses. A little bit more maybe range here from Tokido, maybe he's trying to just get that great life back, no dice. Oh, no full punish! And at the same time, I, oh, I was just going to say, I feel like we're seeing more active stuff from Daigo, but right then was the jump from Tokido. This time not saving it for the end. All right, gonna activate the V-Trigger off of that sweep. Kinda uses it, looks like, to gain a little bit more space back. You see how whenever, it's like when Daigo activates the V-Trigger, that's his forward motion movement timing. The knockdown, and he went in this time, it wasn't just meaty fireball. All right, so Daigo, one. Throw. Oh, just one, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, poke with that stand medium kick, like I said. That seems to be Daigo's main footsie tool of choice. Yeah, why not? It's great. And Tokido was doing the same thing. When the set started off, Tokido was the one interrupting fireballs with his stand medium kick. Tokido in the blue. And, well, he tried to get from it, not the rest. Yeah, I mean, normally when you just hit that stand round, you just go to stand light kick into something, but he went into crouch jab for some reason. Ooh, not quite fast enough to whip punish that whip. Sweep. Nice anti-air from Daigo. Showing that he's concentrating on the anti-air as well as the ground. Ooh! You, there's sometimes when you get that counter hit like that, it pushes you a little extra further. Daigo was unable to confirm that crouching medium kick counter hit, but look at this Daigo with Tokido in the corner now. And again, you see he's ready for those anti-airs. It was a very strong range that Daigo was hanging out with. He could harass the fireballs. No EX to keep it up. Overhead! Two to one. But I like the range where he was standing. He could throw fireballs pretty safely. There was no possibility of a jump in from that range. Uh, at least not that was massively preemptive. Right. And again, like I said, Tokido has had the upper hand against Daigo much in their previous meetings, but it looks like... It looks like Daigo has the upper hand right now. Round this man one. who says he's not prepared right. yet. Right. He did say he's been traveling so much lately that he hasn't felt like he's been able to improve. Clearly, whatever level he's at is, is all right. Okay, got it. Not well. I think he just screwed up. Probably supposed to be stand short rather than down short. But I want to see a little bit of adaptation here from Tokido in terms of how he deals with Daigo. I'm not about to give him advice on it, but I'd love to see something. <laughs> Very even in life here. 60 seconds left on the clock. Oh, and there's a jump in! He's gonna get good damage, not quite enough to kill. And oh, and now Tokido taking the round with an overhead. Okay, nice. I was about to say, he's not out of the water because Daigo had that full meter. He was gonna be able to kill with one touch into a combo, into a super. But Tokido taking it with the overhead. And now, see him slowly walking Daigo into the corner. Yes, harassing. Yes, there's the grab. A lot of extra damage thanks to that gray health. Sweep, counter sweep, and then the patience allows Daigo to switch sides completely. Ooh, Daigo went for a crouching strong anti-air. Yeah, I wonder if that was supposed to be DP, I don't yeah, know. it might have been an execution mistake, but right. it didn't, didn't come back to bite him that badly. 
Okay, Daigo spends a bar, so he doesn't have super anymore. Tokido, however, still sitting on a full meter. Tokido trying to move forward. He did have the fireball. He chose not to super. He had a well, couple of chances, but hard to see. Tokido now trying to play patiently. Here's Daigo. Forward movement. Daigo, can he keep? No, he backed right off. Uh, Hit and run. Tokido trying to throw out that stunning light kick every once in a while just in case Daigo dashes forward. Oh, oh he's going to be able to combo up. Stand light kick. What? The trigger in the super. Amazing. And Tokido's only reaction is to nod to himself, close his eyes, and go into perfect zen mode. <laughs> yes. Ready. Wow. Very fitting, I think, that this kind of a set would go as far as it's going. Fight. It's 2-2. Two, two. Double throw. Oh, the little bait. Here's Tokido. He did roundhouse, but and right back in with another one. And, and then that the should wave. be a stun. And look at this, Tokido. Everything's firing for him right now. Taking huge command of this round. But Street Fighter V, the comebacks have been happening all weekend long. Tokido definitely not in the clear for this Whoa, round just yet. up so far. Can he make this comeback too? Oh, he wanted it. Backdash, backdash from yeah, Tokido. Yeah, yeah, another yeah. throw attempt. Okay, the knockdown. Daigo's, you gotta believe you can still do this. How many times have we seen this big comeback? Oh, jumped in the air. Oh, oh that's no. punishable! Oh, wow, and look, look He look. really took a risk. Look how close Daigo came for that comeback, but yeah. Tokido is the one at match point here. Remember, this is loser's side. Bruner. Who will be eliminated? Oh, beautiful, using the hurricane to go over. Fireball, oh. baits it out! Big damage! Look at all that red up there, and some orange too, and that could have been it! And that is gonna be it, the stun! And now Daigo gonna get his own big damage here, spends the meter to try to finish him off, and then just goes for the axe kick! We're down to the last round, last game once again here in top eight! Oh, the back dash and Tokido with the down strong to interrupt another one. Confirms it into the Sandlight Kick EX Hurricane. His own stand short. Very interesting little wheel of options after that neutral jump yeah, we've seen. Yeah, the second time he's done that, the with the empty jump stand light kick. Both really trying to counter poke here. Yeah, just in range for just it. Just to push him into the corner. Yeah, get the knockdown. Get this corner control. We've seen how well Daigo does once he's in here. Oh, a Christ counter sweep. And he's going to back off and set it up. And yes, Daigo's going to jump. Take oh, the hit. And that's it. He's stunned. Got it. Got to get it, though. Can gotta Tokido get it. finish this off? It is. That's enough. And Tokido has eliminated Daigo Umahara. Daigo Umahara goes out here at CEO in fifth place. Tokido moves on and has once again defeated Daigo. Amazing play. That was really just right down to the wire on both sides. And as good a display as you will see of how the same character can be used different ways by different people. Defensively, offensively, mid-range control, different pressure options, different reactions to very similar situations. A lot of that, you could really see the individual in it. Right. And that's something I love about fighting games. You could see the person playing. He doesn't even need to say. Tokido up here. Right. But he doesn't need to see Infiltration mm -hmm, Nash mm -hmm. up here. You know it's Infiltration Nash. You know exactly. it's Tokido Ryu. That I love to see. Yes, yeah. And uh, like I said, the, the nice thing about you know Street Fighter V, it really does allow for a lot of expression through how you play the characters. Strongly agree. Yeah, most of the people who play the same characters play them in very different yeah. ways. Yeah, for sure.